Hey, good morning. Welcome to Network Marketing Success. I'm Annette Rose and if you stick around you'll see a lot more of me on video because it's one of my absolute favorite mediums for talking to you. All right, so this morning, uh, welcome to Success Saturday. Uh, this is going to become a regular feature, so 10 a.m. every Saturday morning. Uh, I'm going to be going live right here and talking to you about key tips for being successful in network marketing. This morning we are talking about six hot tips on being good at network marketing. So it seems like a really good place to start. Uh, we are going to um, run through reasonably quickly what these things are and um, I'd love to hear your comments at the end. All right, so tip number one, you need to be clear about your why. If you have been in network marketing for any amount of time, you'll have heard no end of people talking about your why. Why is your why important? It's because it is what keeps you going every single day. It's what keeps you going through rejection. It's what keeps you going when you're sick. It's what keeps you going when everything is just crowding in on you and things are getting really, really busy and you can't, you just don't feel like you can keep going. That's what your why is all about. So I really want to encourage you to make sure that you've got a really strong emotional connection with why you joined this business and why you need it to be successful. So that's the first one. Know your why, tip number one. All right, number two, let's move on. You need to love your product. Now this might sound really logical, but I just wanna make sure that it is really clear to people. If you don't love the product that you're selling, it is going to be very, very hard for you to be authentic. And our business is a direct sales business, and, and one thing that you absolutely need is you need authenticity. So you need to love the product, you need to be using the product, you need to be talking to people about the product, not in a salesy way, but as an example, I'm in a skincare business. I'll come up really close. So people comment to me every day, how good my skin looks, you look amazing, and I use that as a really great opportunity to be able to say, oh yeah, um, I'm Red Adam Fields, I sell Red Adam Fields, so let me know if there's anything I can hook you up with, maybe you'd like a sample. So that's a really, really great example of why we have to love our product and why we have to use our product. So that's hot tip number two. Love your product, use your product. All right, number three, cantering on. You need to connect with people. I'll just pause there for a mic drop. You need to connect with people. You, I know that we say that, you know, in this age of social media, everything can be done um, through posting and all of those different things. They are all really important parts of your business. But what I need you to know is that you need to connect with people. So face-to-face -face is obviously ideal. There are so many other channels that we can connect with people. So putting a post up is great, but if you never connect with the people who comment on your post, if you never engage with them, if you never message them, if you never build a relationship, um, if you never move that on, let's say you're in a local kind of business. So I do a lot of local events where I have people come to my house, we go to coffee shops, we go to bars. Um, it's a very, very social business direct selling um, and you need to connect with people. So I'm just going to say to you that if you're laboring under some misapprehension that you can sit at home and be a hermit and never speak to people and just put stuff out on social media, um, this is not going to work for you. Okay, You do need to be responding and building relationships with people. So hot tip number three is get out there and connect. Hot tip number four, it's all about having faith in yourself. So this is a business model. In fact, any direct sales business is a business that can be very, very hard, okay? Because people say no. And it's really hard as humans not to feel like that is a personal rejection, like it's an affront, like that person doesn't like us. But what you have to do is you need to have faith in yourself, okay? So the opposite, um, that, that is the opposite of fear. Fear is a massive blocker and fear is one of the really big things that, again, stops us from talking to people about our products and about our business. So if you've got people who are surrounding you that are always negative about your business, they're always negative about network marketing or multi-level marketing or um, direct sales, you probably wanna think about finding some other people to spend time with that can encourage you, spend more time with the people that are, they don't have to be buying from you, but people who genuinely support you, your tribe, they're really important. Okay, so tip number four is have faith in yourself. And a little sub tip is, please, please stop letting negative people drag you off track. Spend less time with those people or don't talk to those people about your business and find people that want to encourage you and support you. So that's hot tip number four. All right, number five, 
Did you sign up as a hobby or did you sign up for this as a business? So if you're watching this video, if you're on this page, I'm thinking that you want this to be a business, a viable thing that is bringing income into your house and helping you with whatever your um, why is to achieve the dreams that you're looking to achieve. So you didn't buy into it as a hobby. It isn't a hobby. If you want it to make money, you need to treat it like it's a business. Okay, now treating it like a business means that you need to be consistently doing income producing activities. So in network marketing, income producing activities are all about building the pipeline of people that we have a relationship with that at some point may wish to buy a product or a service from us, okay? Or they might even wanna join us as a business partner. What I'm not talking about here is where you go in, the first conversation you ever meet someone, you say, boom, buy my product, boom, come and join my team. That's not what I'm talking about. Um, I'm talking about building your pipeline and building relationships. So I'm gonna be doing a lot more on that on this channel. Um, you can always jump over to my blog, which is at rosebeauty.com.au. I've got um, some great posts on there about how to do customer relationship marketing. But the, the, the hot tip number five is, you need to be able to treat this like a business. You need to put a minimum of an hour a day into your business. Doesn't all have to be at the same time. You do need to structure what you need to get done in a day, but you have to work it like a business. If you come back to this once a fortnight, you cannot be surprised that it's not making you money. All right, so that's hot tip number five. Um, the other thing to say about that is when you start making money, you are gonna feel great. You are gonna feel confident and that is just gonna shine out of you and it's gonna motivate and propel you on to doing more in your business. All right, hot tip number six. God, I can't believe we made it to number six already. You need to be learning. Every day, if you can, you need to be learning something new because there is, there is nobody who is going to improve you and improve your skills except for you, okay? So you need to seek that out. Um, really great saying that I love by a, uh, some kind of motivational dude called Robin Sharma. In order to double your income, you need to triple your personal growth and development. That really resonates with me. So over the last 20 months since I started my network marketing business, I have gorged myself on podcasts. I have found people who are key influencers, people who can tell me things that I need to know. So Jasmine Starr, Jenna Kutcher, Ed Milet, Lewis Howes, Brendan Burchard, um, Kayla Craft, there are uh, Rachel Hollis, Mel Robbins. There are so many incredible podcasts out there that you could be learning from. So many incredible books written by network marketing professionals. Soak it up, listen, make lists, do actions, get out of your comfort zone, but learn every single day. All right, so those are my six hot tips. Let's bring it all together. One, know why you are doing it. What is your why? What are you emotionally connected to about this business? Number two, believe in your product. Subheading, use your product. That way, people can see the effect on you and it will be a natural selling point. Three, you have to connect with people. Get out, talk to people, talk about your products, talk about your business, do it naturally, but connect with people. Four, self-belief. You can do this. You absolutely 100% can do this. Surround yourself with people who've got your back, that encourage you and that really believe in you. Maybe try and think about spending less time with the people who are negative about what you're trying to do. Tip number five, your business needs to be treated like a business. If you wanna make money, it cannot be a hobby that you dip in and out of. You need to be consistent, doing income producing activities at least an hour a day. Cool. Tip number six, self-learning. You need to get out there. Google, the world is a really big place. There are so many places to learn and motivate yourself and you need to get out there and find it. All right, I hope you've enjoyed today's little video and feel free to drop me a comment. I would love to hear from you about any topics that you would like me to cover, anything that you're really struggling with. Really, I'm really happy to do um, request-based live videos to help you guys. Um, and there is also um, a course that I've written. So if you really, really are feeling motivated, you want to get stuck in now, you want to start making money as quickly as possible, and you want to build your business and learn the skills, just hit the shop now button at the top of the page um, and have a little look at the course that I've created. So um, just a little uh, sneak peek. It does include five accountability coaching calls with me. So it's a course with a difference. It's not just um, designed for you to read and then not have taken action. So jump over there and check it out. 
Um, last but not least, I would be honored if you would share my page with anybody else that you know who needs help in their network marketing business and wants to be in a place where they're getting tips uh, and hints and real training about how to succeed from somebody who is real. And that would be me. All right, I'll see you guys soon. Have a great Saturday. Bye.